On this Tobacco University video, we'll be looking at determining cannabis sex using a clone and flip method. This is a very simple method that anyone can do. It also helps refine uh, one's ability to go through and do cloning, but this can be a very important process to be able to determine whether you're gonna have a male plant or a female plant and really hopefully reduce the care that you need to give to your plants that are male so that you can focus on those that are gonna be high cannabinoid producers. All right, let's get into the video here to show you how to go about this clone and flip method. Well, first off, why would you wanna know whether your plant was male or female to begin with? Well, keep in mind that the male plants are gonna produce pollen and really are only desirable by breeders. Female plants will produce high amounts of cannabinoids and those tend to be desirable by growers looking to produce high chemical and terpene densities. So most growers are looking for female plants, but early on before flowering, it's very difficult to tell whether you have a male plant or a female plant and you have to take care of it. And that could be wasted resources if you're growing a male plant that you're not going to have any return on investment at the end. So when we're going through and cloning our plant, the cloning process is the same as if we plan was to propagate the plant. So if you have a good cloning process or want to refine that, this is a method that can help you with, with that. Growers should take an early branch from a plant to be able to determine the gender before preflowers develop naturally. So this is going to be done very early on in the plant growing process. However, the goal is to ensure that this is a quick process since growers want to know what plants to cull and which ones to keep. So keep in mind that you're also labeling and tagging everything. Unlike traditional cloning, the photo period for the clones or in the clone room should be under uh, a 12-12, 12, 12, 12 hours light and 12 hours dark flowering duration. Uh, so you can be able to determine or force flowers early so you can be able to determine whether you have a male or female plant. Now we're going to talk about forcing flowers here. What does this kind of term forcing flowers refer to? Well, the flowering photo period will induce flower formation, and this can be very early on in a plant's uh, life cycle or development. The goal, since the morphology of the flower produced will indicate the gender of the plant, so being able to recognize those flowers early on will definitely be advantageous. Keeping records is important so growers know what branch or clone matches, what stock or original um, plant was utilized to be able to match that up. And we're talking about on a very small level, we can see the arrow pointing right here as well as flowers here both of these referring to or showing female flowers so how do these differ compared to male flowers well if we see them side by side you can see right here this is what we're looking for in flowers so over on this side here we can see that these are all male flowers here you can see the kind of pollen sacs that will develop in contrast, we see the female flowers. We see these white, wispy, um, cat-like whiskers here. And this is a high, high surface area, and ultimately, these would capture the pollen produced by the male flowers. So once you kind of see them side by side, the morphologies or how they look, very distinctive. So keep in mind that the earlier you can identify these, if you are growing a, a male plant, you can cull that plant and go back to the original and get rid of that one. So you're focusing all your time, energy, and resources on the plants that will produce high cannabinoids which will be those that we're looking for that have female flowers morphology.